3DS Max and 3DS Max designs UVW unwrapping capabilities have significantly advanced. A completely reorganized and updated UVW Unwrap UI improves the process of unwrapping by bringing commonly used tools into the UI, like Relax, Stitch, and Weld, and introduces several new workflow tools to make your unwrapping tasks a lot easier. A closer look at the UI enhancements will show that the UI commands have been slightly reorganized and completely refreshed in their look and feel. New icons are simpler to see and more relevant to the tool's purpose and the tools you are used to using are still present. And there are some new ones both on the command panel and in the UV editor. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. On the command panel, many of the tools have had icons created for them or have been combined into tool groups that make more sense. This is very evident with the selection tools and the mapping and alignment tools. These have been combined into a group called projection. Pelt mapping has been combined with a new set of tools called peel. We will take a look at Peel shortly. Spline mapping has been joined by Unfold to create a new tool group called Wrap. Unfolding takes any loop of UV edges and unfolds it along that loop. This is very handy for quick unwrapping of any UV cluster where edge placement is a priority. Within the UV editor, several tools reveal some major enhancements to unwrapping workflows. The quick transform tools have been grouped together and provide quick editing and alignment of UV vertices and the rotation of UV clusters. In Reshape Elements, Relax has been brought from the drop-down menu into the UI and new Straighten Selection function has been added that takes curved clusters and squares them off. Stitching has been added to the UI as well as Explode commands. These are the mapping commands from the mapping drop-down. Peel exists on the UV editor as well. We'll come back to that in a second. A big addition are the Arrange Element commands. With these commands, it's very easy to repack the UV space and control orientation or rescaling. This is especially useful for scaling UV clusters to match relative sizes of each other. Lastly, you can now group UV clusters. Grouping is easy and gives you the ability to set a priority for whether the UVs are scaled or not when it's repacked. Okay, let's take a closer look at Peel. So here is the object that we're going to use Peel on, and I've already laid out a couple of seams, which we can see here in wireframe mode. I have to finish up some of the seam cutting, and for that we're going to go ahead and use a new tool called Edge Point-to-Point -point Edge Selection in UVW Unwrap. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Edge mode, and I'll turn on the point-to-point -point mode, and we'll just come in here and I'm just going to grab a couple of edges right around here, just wrap it right around, come back around to the bottom there. Once I'm done with that, we're going to go ahead and convert that to a seam. So if we go back to wireframe mode, we can see that I've cut that right over to the seam. And we're going to go ahead and use this leg cluster to peel it apart. So I've just selected one UV, and we're going to go ahead and expand the selection. So I'll go ahead and turn on shaded mode here and we'll open up the UV editor. And you can see there's our leg right there. So we'll go ahead and enter peel mode. And you can see that it peels immediately. I'm going to uh, turn that button off and I'm going to move this out so that we can get a closer look at the UV. Now what I can do here is I can go into vertex mode and I can grab any vertex, and you'll notice immediately that even though I'm moving one vertex, in peel mode, I'm not just moving that vertex, I'm actually moving the whole cluster. So that as I begin moving vertices, they become locked, and I'm able to reshape in a dynamic fashion the UV cluster. So as I move various UVs or various vertices, the peel mode actually continues to stretch and reshape the cluster to give me something that I would want. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn on checker mode so that we can see how it's affecting the texture on the character leg. And I'll go ahead and maybe move these down a little bit, move these over. If at any time I want to get rid of one of these locked vertices, all I have to do is select the vertex and unlock it. 
and then I can remove it or uh, do something else with it if I just want to move another one. So you can see that we're able to do, we're able to get that going in there um, pretty easily. The next thing we're going to do is show you how a peel in the interactive mode really lets you edit your clusters on the fly. So what I have here, I'm going to go back and look at my seams. I have the main body of the character here. I'll just select one UV and I'll expand the selection. Okay, and as soon as I expand that selection, we'll go ahead and we'll peel it. And I'm also going to set it aside. I'm going to turn off vertex mode so I can move it up here. All right, so here's this UV cluster. Notice we're still in peel mode. And let's say we want to make some edit, edits to it to kind of make it a, a little different or a little easier to paint or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut in some new seams here. Now, even though I've already peeled it, since I'm still in peel mode, my new seams will be um, immediately seen in what we're doing here. So I'm going to go in. Zoomed in a little too close. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to grab some new seams there and I'm just going to pop those over. And I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. Take these over to here. And we'll go ahead and convert those to seams. And do a quick peel. And you can see that my new seams have now been incorporated into the peel over here interactively in the Edit UVW window. So at any time, you can update your seams, and as long as you're in peel mode, those changes will be made here. So before I can finish, I have to go ahead and do the last part of the leg. The last part of the leg over here will do the other leg, and I'll just go ahead and do that quickly. So again, I'll stay in edge mode, and I'll go into edge to edge selection. There we go. And we'll go ahead and start to reselect some of the peel to get it to be what we want it to be. And of course, I could refine this and refine this however I needed to. But you can see here I have two different clusters that are not the same size, and we can see the influence of that on on our model over here. The uh, the clusters are not the same size, but at this point, I can exit peel mode, and I can use my arrange elements tools to kind of fix that and make them the same relative size. So I'll go ahead and I'll select the clusters. And I'll choose scale and notice that it's rescaled them to be the same relative size. And this is evident in our checker pattern over here on the model. So I can grab this as well, rescale them all to be the same relative size, and then repack them. Of course, I'd have the other UVs finished up there. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So 3ds Max and 3ds Max Designs, UVW Unwrapping Abilities provide fast and efficient methods to lay out UVs and help you create great looking textures.